All right, hey everybody, welcome. Let's see if we have a mask of something, but the edges are a little bit rough. So let's see a couple of examples improving the edges with Gaussian blur and the guide filter method with OpenCV. Let's say we have a function that gives us the mask of a face. I'm going to cover this function in another video, so stay tuned for that. But if you want to know more, it's called Bilateral Segmentation Network, Vicenet. So yeah, we're going to use that in another video for another project. But in this one, we're going to see how to improve the edges of our mask. So we get the mask here in the function and the mask at the face. We also get that. We show it with matplot here. And as you can see, we have our mask, but it's a little bit rough on the edges. Now we can see that in the edges, there is a little bit of the background and the hair is not that good. We load the background image that we want to sort of paste or uh, face in it. In this example, I took a photo of a galaxy. We load the image here and we got the number array. Great. Now what we need to do is sort of copy our mask into a three dimension array because we need to broadcast it to the original image. So what we do here is make a crop of the positive of the mask. Then what we do here is grab the galaxy image and we do a crop equal to the height and the width of our original image. In this example, the galaxy image or the background needs to be bigger than the source. This is just an example. We can do this a bunch of different ways, but here we grab this crop and we multiply by the negative of the mask. We do that by subtracting one to negative of the mask. This is going to be broadcasted by NumPy and give us the negative of the mask. So we can see here the negative of the mask. So it's going to keep all of the outside of the face. Awesome. Then we sum the background and the face and we get our face pasted on this background. As you can see, it's not that good because the edge is, is rough. So first, let's see a uh, Gaussian blur. So we basically do first is Again, we tile the mask face into a three-dimensional array to be broadcasted with the right dimensions. We also transpose it, and I didn't mention that before, but we need uh, the height, the width, and the three, three dimensions in the last shape. So then we erode the mask a little bit because the Gaussian blur is going to expand it. Then we do the same process as before, and we see that here's our result. It's a little bit better, but as you can see, the ears kind of lose shape. The hair is a little bit better, but all uh, it is like good, but not great. This can be a good option, but let's contrast it with guide filter. So first we need to normalize the source image. We do this with the normalize uh, method in, in OpenCV. We give the source image and we have, we get the source image normalized. We again erode the mask because the kite filter is going to expand a little bit. Then we give the source image as a float32. This is important because a uh, guided filter doesn't uh, like other times. We also give the mask into float32 and we gave two extra parameters. I'm not sh quite sure what they do, but I think this is the kernel size and some sort of smoothing option. Okay, so let's try this one. And as you can see, the hair in, in this mask is a little bit better. I don't know, maybe I can make this a little bit bigger. As you can see, the hair resembles a little bit more in the in mask. We can play with these parameters a little bit. So let's say we, ha we I don't know, make a 10 here. And as you can see, the mask is going to get a little bit smoother. We can give, I don't know, a hundred to see a little bit exaggerated. And as you can see, the mask makes it a lot uh, smoother in the, in the edges. I'd like it to be this uh, very small, like a four or five. And you have the epsilon, that is the amount of expansion, I think. Let's give it a hundred. And as you can see, it's like the expansion of a grow or something like that. I'm also going to leave this in small range and we have a result here. Let's see it. First, let's see the crop. So we have the crop there. It's a little bit better. Not amazing, but an improvement. And now let's see the final image. 
as you can see the hair looks better we still have a white halo but maybe that's the profile of the base model and not the guide filter right and that and that's and that's it i think the the results are uh better uh we started with this image uh, as you can see the edges are really rough then we use Gaussian blur to blur all the edges of the mask and we get this result. Sometimes the mask goes in and we lose a little bit of uh, details and also the hair looks like it doesn't have any detail in it. And with the gut filter we got sort of a result in the middle because we still have that halo around the edges but the hair looks more defined. We don't lose stuff like the ears here in the pointy areas as we do in the Gaussian blur. So uh, let me know if you have any other ways of doing this. I use guide filter quite a lot when working with mask. And yeah, if you have any other models or ways of doing this, I would like it to know. And if this was helpful to you, give it a like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.